quotes of Swami Vivekananda on past life. We cannot deny that bodies acquire certain tendencies from heredity, but those tendencies only mean the physical configuration, through which a peculiar mind alone can act in a peculiar way. There are other tendencies peculiar to a soul caused by its past actions. And a soul with a certain tendency would by the laws of affinity take birth in a body which is the fittest instrument for the display of that tendency. This is in accord with science, for science wants to explain everything by habit, and habit is got through repetitions. So repetitions are necessary to explain the natural habits of a newborn soul. And since they were not obtained in this present life, they must have come down from past lives. There is another suggestion. Taking all these for granted, how is it that I do not remember anything of my past life? This can be easily explained. I am now speaking English. It is not my mother tongue, in fact no words of my mother tongue are now present in my consciousness. But let me try to bring them up, and they rush in. That shows that consciousness is only the surface of the mental ocean, and within its depths are stored up all our experiences. Try and struggle, they would come up and you would be conscious even of your past life. This is direct and demonstrative evidence. Verification is the perfect proof of a theory, and here is the challenge. Thrown to the world by the riches. We have discovered the secret by which the very depths of the ocean of memory can be stirred up, try it and you would get a complete reminiscence of your past life. Take a long look at your past life. If your present condition is good, it has been caused by all the past mistakes as well as successes. Glory be unto success. Glory be unto mistakes. Do not look back upon what has been done. Go ahead. A stone falls and crushes a worm. Hence we infer that all stones, falling, crush worms. Why do we thus immediately reapply a perception? Experience, says one. But it happens, let us suppose, for the first time. Throw a baby into the air, and it cries. Experience from past lives. But why apply to the future? Because there is a real connection between certain things, a pervasiveness, only it lies with us to see that the quality neither overlaps, nor falls short of the instance. On this discrimination depends all human knowledge. All the misery of the world is caused by this slavery to the senses. Our inability to rise above the sense life, the striving for physical pleasures, is the cause of all the horrors and miseries in the world.